Hello everybody, thanks for watching The Skinny. Uh, today I have a generator that was free for the most part. It was basically a neighbor had brought it by with a couple of other generators hoping that we could get one running. Um, and we got the one he wanted running and he decided to leave the others with me. And today I'm gonna look into this one. Um, he told me that it has a leaky fuel tank and that's all that he knows that's wrong with it but just looking at it i can see that it goes much beyond just a leaky fuel tank um this is uh definitely not something i like to see on a generator that's the 220 socket so definitely some electrical issues that need to be taken care of the thing is sat out in the sun. I mean, if you look at the color, I don't think champions come in this uh, faded yellow, almost white color. So I'm going to give you a little tour of the thing here real quick, and then I'll show you what we're going to do to get it fixed up, running, and converted over to propane. So first off, there's bare red wire there, um, sun bleached voltmeter. Everything looks to say 20 amp for all the circuit breakers. And it appears that it's a Honda GX270 or clone of it. It has a Briggs & Stratton air filter on it. I assume that's because someone had one lying around and put it on there. I, I don't know. Uh, fuel looks like it's been disconnected already. Um, only really, the only reason why I'm thinking this is a GX270 is... Uh, see if you can see it here it says 177 F and for everything that I could find that's a that's a GX 270 the carburetor I ordered for it says it's good for a GX 390 um, I wish some more of these stickers were still here but I can't really get too much off of it other than that the uh, fuel tank Nothing in there, so that's just been able to get water in there. And um, I don't think I wanna see what's in that black hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and just yard the gas tank. I'm switching this thing over to propane. We don't need gas, even though in the future, I've already found a replacement fuel tank for it. It's 60 bucks, uh, seven gallon fuel tank. Looks like it's the right one. Measurements match up. But I'm not too interested in doing that right now. I want to get it, get the electrical fixed and uh, get it converted over to propane. So I'm going to get to it. Lots of grass. Man, fuel dripping all over the place. Packed full of grass and exposed electrical. I'm kind of glad this thing's not running for whoever used to own this. That is one neglected generator ready to catch a fire. And here in California, we know all too much about wildfires. electrical panels back on and I'm gonna I've got everything kind of bolted back together on it I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this carburetor off and getting ready to put the propane carburetor on all right 
right, so there's the factory carb. This uh, choke assembly doesn't look the same as the one on the propane carburetor. Let's see, little plastic cap pops right off. We'll see if that's going to be a problem. So here is the new carburetor. I'll put a link in the description. It's quite a bit bigger than the original. Well, that's that. All right, so I got my bottle hooked up, and um, because this is a brand new carburetor, there's no gasoline in there, and the uh, so I don't need to drain the bowl. There is a little on-off valve on the back side of the regulator um, right here. So I've got it in the off position. This is uh, for natural gas or propane. This is a little purge button to just prime everything, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And you can hear propane flowing when I do that. Um, I should have paid attention to which direction the choke goes, but I believe that's choke on. The on switch is on. Let's see what happens. Sounding very promising. but I adjusted the idle or the load speed here. You can turn up and down the RPM. Um, it's bouncing around, but I've about got it. It's running a little fast, so I'm going to check it under load here. All right, so there's been some tweaking and tuning. Uh, Basically, this needs to be counterclockwise to the stop. It's going to be for propane. And then you've got a little brass screw right here that you're going to have to put a load on the generator and just kind of finely adjust it, give it a chance to balance out. So don't, don't adjust a lot too quickly. It's going to take a second to um, settle down. It's still hunting a little bit um, with a load on it. Let's go ahead and fire it up, see what happens. I think I might need to go in, change the oil, check my valve clearance, um, make sure everything else on this motor is running right, but I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up here again. So uh, I'm gonna leave the choke off because it's already warm and then just prime this for a second, push that button. You can hear the propane flowing. It always helps to turn the on switch on.
So that's uh, the propane conversion kit. Little mixture screw I was showing you is uh, right there. And it's just a feather adjustment. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, check on some of the health from this being missing and make sure it hasn't sat around, make sure the valves aren't rustied up, um, see if that, that stops the hunting issue. But other than that, uh, got it, it's running. It doesn't seem like it's as much of a fire hazard anymore. And hopefully this works out because propane's a lot more cost effective than gasoline. And uh, even the cylinder is cheaper than the $60 gas tank that replaces the one that was on here. So hope you enjoyed watching. Take care. Have a good day.